what how did you decide what products you were going to launch with did you poll the audience and stuff or you just I did well I I kind of had an idea but I did a lot of research in regards to to speaking to women um research pool surveys just asking what did what does a routine look like um and amazingly I found that you know cleansers and turners just basics people still had questions about what to use I don't understand you know what are serums what are face oil I am I supposed to use them all and it was just let's keep it very simple so I wanted Zuri Beauty to be as simple but effective Mm -hmm. so I I definitely right now I'm launching with four products so it will be a cleanser a turner and two two serums so a serum for day that's full of antioxidants and a serum for, for night um, that's got a retinoid and um, basically focuses on elasticity and, and fine lines and, and wrinkles. So I wanted to, to stay very focused and speak to that. And I wanted to make sure that all four items obviously connected with each other or, or you know, if you, if you purchase just a serum, I wanted to make sure it was something that you could use with your other products. So not only am I interested in ingredients, I'm also interested in sharing what I know about ingredients. So as part of my website, I want to make sure I have a section that will speak to all the ingredients that are in there so that you know whichever item that you're purchasing, if it works with whatever else you have at home that you're using. Because, yeah. um, I, I mean, knowledge is key. So, yeah, I definitely wanted to make sure that I kept it simple. Yes, I have a few ideas in for next year what I want to add and how I want to grow but it all needs to make sense to me I don't want to just put products out there just for the sake of putting them out there right right and I love that you said that too because I I do know that a lot of people have this thing like when they launch products they feel like they have to come out with like everything (laughs) at one time but you can definitely start with four or five products and just add on as you go Exactly. And I mean, it's also how people shop. Like some people are very um, brand loyal and they'll buy the whole line and just use that. Some people just, I just need a cleanser. I'm just going to buy this and test this out for now. Or I, you know, I'll do, you know, two out of the, the, yeah. People just like to pick and choose as well. So I wanted to make sure the launch, I had enough that if you wanted all of them, they all, you have them all. Yeah. So I know in Zuri Beauty, um, places like an emphasis on holistic skincare. What exactly is, like what makes skincare holistic and why did you decide to go that route? Well, I think, um, and again, during the pandemic, pandemic, it allowed me to realize, you know, we all talked about self-care and, and how it's important. Um, but it's also another thing to actually do something about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I looked at, I always have taken the approach of a holistic approach anyway. I mean, you get sick, you catch a cold, what's going on? What is not just the cold, it's more what's your immune system doing? What's going on? And I think it's the same thing about skincare. People were like, oh my God, my skin is oily. Well, why are you dehydrated? What's going on? Or are you using yeah. the wrong moisturizer? So I think that, you know, we have to take into account our lifestyles. What are we doing? What's going on? Because whatever you do or put on the inside is always reflected on the outside. Mm -hmm. Um, So yeah, something as simple as forming a habit every day to drink water, however much water you need, flushes out toxins, get your organs working, that will be reflected on the outside. Your diet, you know, maybe you decide I'm going to eat green for a little while and see what happens. You might notice some changes. So I totally agree with exercise and, you know, alcohol. All of that plays an impact on what your skin, which is the largest organ of your body, is right. going to look like, especially for the long term. Mm-hmm. What kind of rituals do you have around your skin? Because your skin is amazing. Like, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well, I am totally skin obsessed. So <laughs> I, but I honestly, I think that you, know, you don't have to be as extreme as me. But for me, I, I'm more mindful. I mean, I remember getting my first facial when I was about twelve, and I this was like my mom introduced me to taking care of my skin at a very early age, and I remember, you know none of my friends were doing it so to me I was like oh my god like yeah. it was a mini facial at the time um, but I remember falling in love with, with doing that and I and I appreciate that the 
the estheticians or whoever I went to see, they probably thought it was amusing that I was so young. So they took the time to explain stuff to me. So I've always appreciated, you know, cleansing your skin and taking care of it and just setting time aside to do that. So for me, it's my bookends of the day, like my morning and my night. I don't have two hours in the morning to get ready some days. So I know, you know, I my morning routine simple wash, turn, some serums, SPF is a must. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I just take the time to, I'm like, just what's going on this morning? Then I woke up this morning, what did my skin look like? What, you know, what do I, what type of cleanser do I need? What do I need extra of as I'm washing my face or as it's more the relationship that I have with my skin. I'm, I'm literally not rushing through every step, which is what sometimes we do. We wash, yeah. we turn, we do, and we just throw it on and we just keep going, make up everything wrong. Yeah. And now I'm just a little bit more mindful. And the same at night. I mean, what I do in the morning is come, it's a little bit different from what, in, what products I would use at night. Um, and then I also make sure weekly, I do a couple of things. I, I'm not as, it's gotta get done, it's gotta, it's just knowing that, you got it. You want to exfoliate? Your skin's looking a little dull. Don't forget to do that one day at least this week. Or, but the one thing I do that is my definite is a facial once a month. Like okay. I have, that is my routine. And I used to be one of those people that would think, oh well, I have to go to the spa and it has to be a whole day. And I was trying to do it, and it wasn't sustainable. I couldn't do it every month. I couldn't even do it every three months mm -hmm. it was just like, and I was getting upset because I wasn't getting it done but then I realized you don't need to turn it into a whole spotty you go to work you stop working at whatever time take two hours go get a facial that's your two hours and mm -hmm. there you go and then come home and cook dinner or do whatever you have to do but I made it work for me and I think that that's what people need to remember whatever works for me may not work for you but mm -hmm. and facials may not be your thing so just figure out what it is that you can do to take care of, of your skin the best way that you can. Yeah, I'm definitely one of those people. I always say I want to get facials regularly. And then I literally go and like never go back for like a whole year. Thank you. Exactly. And then you're there. You're like, oh, I need to do this more often. And then you don't do it. <laughs> Did you ever have any like skin, skin concerns growing up? I, I mean, not too much, but it was, you know, your teenager, you, you break out. Um, it was more... For me, I understood, I was never one to, you know, you got a pimple, you always want to pop it, you always want to do something immediately. But I realized, oh, well, if I go outside and grab some aloe and just rub that on my face, it will dry it out. Or if I stop touching my face so much. So it was more um, those sorts of growing pains, just learning about stuff, knowing oh, well, if I'm putting all this gel and stuff in my hair and I'm working out and I'm sweating and I'm, you know, I'm going to wash my face because, yeah. So it, was it wasn't necessarily um, any, you know, anything serious where I needed, oh, I had, I can say I had acne or anything to that regard. Yeah. But like I said, I, you know, my mom introduced me to a dermatologist when I was in my late teens so that, you know, somebody... Well, this is what you go to a dermatologist for and you know that's something that you need to do annually if you can get right. your skin checked and so yeah it was it was always if there was something going on I learned how to manage it I love that and I love that holistic approach to skincare just paying attention to your skin just being yeah. mindful I guess it is it's definitely about being more mindful mm -hmm. how does your professional background help you with developing Zori Beauty